I think fear, like we were saying earlier at the, at the top of uh, this session, you know, and, and like doubt, I think, is like the cousin or, you know, or the girlfriend to fear or whatever. I don't know. Uh, it, it reveres, it, it shows its head in all sorts of ways, but fear, I think, is the fundamental. Um, I, that, that stage fright is there all the time. And I think uh, as you get older, you become uh, more aware of that state and you don't uh, get overly reactionary to it. I know that, you know, one example of an instance of fear uh, or of, of like fear of people's perception or being a ridicule, and I talk about it in the book kind of funny, was an opportunity with the NFL uh, when, you know, the NFL approached us when we were really kind of, quote, walking on water from a sales perspective to license their, their brand. This is pre the throwback jersey craze. And I threw up all over the idea. And I think back of it, the reason I threw up all over the idea is because one of my competitors at the time was a good guy named Damon John, who's the founder of FUBU, had just done all of this NBA stuff and with like the, the NBA teams and did all these jerseys. So I thought people would think that I was biting them. Got so it. I was like, I'm not doing that because even though like the NFL is like one of the great yeah. American brands, I mean, right. fuck, it's like, <laughs> what a big brand. How much money did you pass on, you think? Uh, uh, well, this was, I could have rode that whole wave of the throwback jersey thing, could have been in the cut in that whole thing. Sure. But my hubris, my fear of like, oh, he's a copycat, that's so me too. And there's tons of instances of that, right? But that's like, an, that's an example of the fear being assigned by some imagined source of energy, right? And that's what we do to ourselves. We, like, how many time, how much time in your day, in your life, have you given away to, that ghost of fear that you could never get back. How much time did you worry about shit that never happened? That Probably a lot. A lot, too much. Okay, too much. So as you get older, you start to have perspective and, and you say, and this, you know, when I share this with younger people, I, I don't, I'm not trying to sound like the old fart. I'm just saying like, man, yo, it might, that's like five extra minutes of quality of life shit. Like don't slumber don't sweat it. on on being flip about that. Yeah. So, you know, if it's an external source that is because of like gatekeeper, compliance, peer review, ridicule, or sometimes that fear of like, oh my God, everything's gonna bust. Like, I just, I'm not being daring, right? Like, well, what are you really gonna lose? And like yeah. having that honest conversation of going through the process of, well, what is the downside? Yeah. And sometimes, What's the downside of not doing it? 